Today Winning Golf visits one of the top private golf clubs in the Philadelphia region. Plus, I have a couple tips that I promise will improve your bunker game. Believe me, you won't want to miss the excitement next on Winning Golf. This one's got a chance. It's in the hole! Winning Golf, that's what we play. It's got a chance. Go to bed. It's in the cup. Wow! Each and every day. I'm near the green again, that's where the action all begins. It's in the hole! With winning golf. Oh, it's in the cup. Everybody wins, that's right. Everybody wins. Hi everyone and welcome to Winning Golf, the show where everybody wins. And today, Winning Golf comes to you from the spectacular Hartfield National. And joining me as our host today from McGillan Architecture is my very dear friend, Howard Leobold and Howard, first of all, welcome back to Winning Golf. And Howard, today we have beautiful weather, a gorgeous host facility here at Hartfeld, lots of wonderful prizes to give away, and a very, very talented group of contestants. Howard, I'm expecting to see a lot of Winning Golf today. Well, um, Doug, you know how much we value relationships at McGill and Architecture. Um, it's a great opportunity today to bring a bunch of our clients and consultants and contractors that we work with out here uh, to show them how much we appreciate those relationships. And I'm pretty confident that they're going to give you some of those winning golf highlights that you're looking for. Well, thank you, Howard. And thanks for being such a wonderful host. And now a simple question for my contestants. Are you ready to play some winning golf? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love your enthusiasm. Now our first skills challenge today is a fun group chipping contest where all of you will chip from 95 feet at the same time. Now some of the golf balls could bump into each other, but that's part of the fun. The bottom line is whoever winds up close to the cup will win a great prize. You ready for this guys? How about a gift certificate to the beautiful Desmond Hotel? Sound awesome guys? What a prize. Let's get ready to chip. Okay, our McGillan contestants are ready to chip from 95 feet. Ready guys? One, two, three, chip. And here they come, 13 golf balls headed towards the pin. Looks like we have a couple beauties, but one is very close. I think we have a winner. Oh, well, Mike Herman, congratulations. You faced a very challenging 95 foot chip shot and you wound up only eight feet, eight inches from the cup. That's some great shipping, my friend. So now you get to enjoy a fun evening and some delicious food and beverage at the beautiful Desmond Hotel. Mike, I hope you had a great time in the contest. Oh, this is fantastic. I'm so glad I didn't need to make the putt, but, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my wife and I will certainly enjoy the Desmond. Thank you very much. Well done, my friend. Well, as you can see, this McGillan team knows how to play some winning golf, and the great news is this. We still have lots of exciting contests ahead of us, but first, let's take a tour around today's host facility, one of the top private golf clubs in the Philadelphia region, the breathtaking Hartfield National. Hartfield National, located in Avondale, Pennsylvania, is a private golf and social club, as well as a member of the Invited Clubs Network. This magnificent facility opened its doors in 1995 and is already recognized as one of the Northeast's most honored golf courses. This Tom Fazio masterpiece offers dramatic elevation changes, breathtaking vistas, terrace tee boxes, sculpted greens, as well as majestic tree lines of oak, beech, holly, and pine. And just recently, Hartfeld completed a full bunker restoration program and also rerouted its front nine to create a better flow for play and allow both nines to finish in front of the beautiful clubhouse. One thing is for sure, Mr. Fazio's outstanding design never fails to challenge and entertain golfers of all abilities. In fact, this 27-year-old championship golf course has already hosted a senior PGA Tour event, the Exxon Invitational, a PGA event hosted by Jim Furyk, as well as the DSGA Senior Amateur. In addition to the stunning golf course, the golf operation offers endless amenities, including a knowledgeable and service-oriented PGA professional staff, private instruction, fun and innovative junior camps, exciting member tournaments, a well-stocked pro shop, a new golf cart fleet, top-notch men's and ladies' locker rooms, and state-of-the-art practice facilities, which include a spacious all-grass tee driving range, a private short game area, and a pristine putting green. We have a two-sided range right here. We have a full uh, putting green, and we also have a uh, short game area. We also offer a private instruction, and also we offer junior camps. It doesn't stop there. When uh, it's pouring down rain, our membership uses uh, our simulators that has two bays that is located in our Fazio room. It's a perfect place to hit balls, play 18 holes, 
uh, when it's pouring down rain uh, and the course is not playable. Of course, Hartfeld National offers more than just spectacular golf amenities. The historic Stone Country Manor Clubhouse, with rich woodwork and breathtaking views of the golf course, offers casual and upscale dining. The popular Grill and Pub is one of the favorite dining destinations for members and their guests. You can enjoy delicious cuisine around a cozy fireside in the winter, a delicious meal outside on the beautiful patio in the summer, as well as fine dining and casual meals anytime in the pub. Whether it's enjoying snacks and pints in the Irish style pub, or fun evenings on the brand new bocce courts, Hartfeld National's warm, family friendly, and inviting atmosphere keeps members and guests coming back. Hartfeld is home for so many reasons. We have so many different amenities, different private outings or events that we have and for all different age groups as well. Um, we like to have here at Hartfeld saying that we, we do golf really well and we do dining really well and we throw some social events in there to keep you busy. And to top it off, Hartfeld has recently unveiled the new Fazio Golf Lounge, a gorgeous social hub offering great food, craft drinks, and two full swing golf simulators. The Fazio Lounge is the perfect setting to make new friends, host fun parties, as well as work on your golf games all year round. And speaking of unbelievable benefits, by joining Hartfield National, you automatically become a member of the Invited Clubs Network, which gives you access to more than 300 country clubs and business clubs nationwide. If interested in membership at the Hartfield National, or possibly hosting a first class wedding, corporate meeting, golf outing, or any special celebration, please call 610-268-8800 or check out the web at Hartfeld.com. Get ready for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. Winning golf where everybody wins. Now let's meet our players. Barrett Dunnigan, Dan Bozen, Steve White, Joe Shorn, Eric Fay, Bob Schirmerhorn, Howard Liebold, Dan Rosado, Joe Barnes, Michael Budson, Greg Newell, Joe Brockle, Jim Atkinson, Mike Herman. Our players are set for Doug's FootJoy lesson tip and shoe contest. FootJoy, the number one shoe in golf. Fellas, today's FootJoy contest comes to you in three parts. Part number one, I'm going to discuss a couple common mistakes made in the greenside bunker. Part two, Dan Rosado is going to put my bunker tip in action. And part three is the foot joy contest where all of you will get to hit a bunker shot. And at the same time, compete for an unbelievable prize. Guys, ready for this? How about a gorgeous pair of foot joy shoes? The number one shoe in golf, is that awesome? What a great prize. So let's talk about the greenside bunker. I want to talk about two common mistakes. Common mistake number one, failure to pick out a spot behind the golf ball. Now let me explain. If I ask all my students where they're aiming in the bunker, almost every one of them would say about two to three inches behind the golf ball, and that would be the correct answer. But then when I ask the same group, when they're over the ball ready to hit the shot, what are they looking at? Most of them would say the ball. And guess what? They often hit the ball, and the ball goes flying over the green. So it sounds simple, but if you want to hit a spot two to three inches behind the ball, your eyes better focus on that spot and not the golf ball. Sound good so far? All right, let's talk about common mistake number two, failure to finish your downswing. Right? Now, I believe that happens simply because in most cases, our shots are only 10 to 15 yards away. It doesn't make sense mentally that we have to take a full swing. So players get into their setup, and at, at their impact area, their, their brain starts to say, uh-oh, and they slow down, they decelerate, and in most cases, the ball is sitting here in the bunker. The bottom line is if you want to be a great bunker player, if you want to hit a high soft bunker shot, one, you must accelerate, and two, you must finish facing that target. So if we can get that accomplished today, I think we'll see some great shots. Sound like a plan, everybody? Excellent. Awesome. Well, before we get to the very exciting foot joy contest, I would love for Dan Rosado to come up and put this tip in action. Dan, thank you for helping out today. Have a nice applause Dan. for Dan. All right, Dan, so the first thing we want to do is open that club face. So we open the club face and then apply the grip. Okay, then we want to play the ball forward in your stance. Okay, yeah, just about in here. That's perfect. Then we want to put a little more weight on your front leg than your back leg. Right? And you're going to leave it there. Okay. okay, now I want your eyes to look at the spot behind the golf ball. Your goal is to hit that spot, then slide that club through the sand into a full finish facing that target. 
Your right foot can even come up off the ground like that. Okay. Like this. Watch my right foot. Okay? Yep. All right. Let's give it a try. Okay. Wow, look at this bunker shot. Dan Rosado, that is a thing of beauty. Hey, I hope you learned a lot today. Thank you, great tips. You're quite welcome. Well, McGill and team, you ready to try to win a pair of Foot Joy shoes? For your private or group golf instruction with PGA Golf professional Doug Hendricks, go to winninggolftv.com or send an email to doug at rdhgolf.com. Now let's see if Doug's tip helps our players as they battle it out for the prize. Our Foot Joy contest is a challenging 20-yard bunker shot. Joe Barnes is up to the challenge. And that's a beautiful touch by Joe. Well done, buddy. Jim Atkinson listened well to Doug's lesson. Jim Atkinson, everybody. All right. Winning golf by Jim Atkinson. Joe Brockle gets out of the sand with this shot to 10 and a half feet. Joe Brockle. And that's a nice touch around the green. How about Joe Brockle, everybody? Joe Shorn hits a tremendous shot to just five feet from the cup. This looks like a beauty rolling just below the cup. How about that touch by Joe Shorn? Well done. But Dan Bozen grabs the shoes with this masterful shot to four feet, three inches. Boy, this could be very, very good. That is a thing of beauty. Well, Dan, congratulations. Spectacular bunker shot. You hit the correct spot and you finish facing the target. So now you'll be lacing up a gorgeous pair of Foot Joy shoes. Dan, the number one shoe in golf. But my question for you right now is this. How would you like to add an amazing putter to those new Foot Joy shoes? That would be awesome, Doug. <laughs> well, I love your enthusiasm. So I hope you get the opportunity when winning golf returns. At Foot Joy, we have this theory. For something to be truly innovative, to be truly groundbreaking, it has to be unexpected. Full of raw potential. Not marginally better than what already exists. It has to be so impressive that no one else can compete. Yeah, we like that theory. We use it to push ourselves, to push our game, so that you can keep pushing yours. You had me at Allison 10 speed transmission. Premium features available on GMC Sierra Heavy Duty. Step up to GMC with 0% financing on Sierra Heavy Duty models. GMC, we are professional grade. What made a guy think he could change a centuries old game? How did he know the trajectory of golf could be re-engineered by the raw force of a grinding wheel? How did one man's vision launch an endless run of worldwide wins. We may never know what made Bob Vokey take on the world of wedges, but golfers everywhere are lucky he did. Prizes and tee gifts for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge provided by Titleist Golf Balls, Titleist, the number one ball in golf, and by Turvis Tumblers, made for a better life, Turvis. Scotty Cameron Putters, the choice of champions, Scotty Cameron Putters. Doug Hendricks Wardrobe provided by the Greg Norman Collection. Greg Norman, performance by design. Welcome back to Winning Golf. It's time now for our Titleist Challenge. Titleist, the choice of the world's best. Welcome back to Winning Golf. Well, McGill and team, in our next exciting contest, one of you, could take home the number one putter in the game of golf today. You ready for this? How about a Scotty Cameron putter, everybody? Yeah. Wow, what, what, a awesome. what, a what a prize. That's the best. So here's the deal. Our terrific host, Howard Liebel, will pull one name out of the hat. That player will have two chances from only 10 feet to roll in a putt. If successful, he will take home a Scotty Cameron putter today. So needless to say, fellas, this contest is going to be pretty exciting, right? Oh, Let's wow. go! Yeah. Yeah. And speaking of exciting, Howard Liebold, who's our lucky contestant today here at the beautiful Hartfield National? Jim Atkins. Right. Jim! Jim, come on up here, Jim. All right. All right, Jim, let me review the contest. You okay. get two putts from 10 feet. You roll one in. You are the new owner of a Scotty Cameron putter. You up for the challenge? Got to do it. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Let's, Let's go it. get it. Okay, Jim Atkinson has two chances to roll on a 10-foot putt. If successful, Jim will add a Scotty Cameron putter to his bag, just like I did this season. 
Okay. All right, let's see what he can do from 10 feet, right up the hill here. Jim Atkins has got a chance. Jim Atkinson, it's in the cup. Jim Atkinson has just won a Scotty Cameron putter. What a pressure putt by Jim. Wow. Well, Jim Atkinson, congratulations. That was an amazing putt. And I got to tell you, Jim, I see a lot of one putts in your future, my friend. I hope you enjoyed the contest. Uh, it's been super. It's super. Enjoyed it a lot. You're, well, well done, my friend. Thank you. Well, thanks to Titus, we just gave away an awesome prize. And the great news is this. We still have a ton of wonderful prizes to give away in the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. So let's get round one underway. Our Winning Golf Skills Challenge will showcase our competitors' short game skills with some challenging shots in three preliminary rounds. If they win a round, they win a prize and valuable extra shots in our all-important survivor round. Our top two in the survivor round will compete in an up and in competition to determine this week's champion. Round one, a 50-foot uphill chip. Steve White handles it well. All right, Steve, pretty good shot, well done. Steve White, everybody. Joe Brockle has a good short game. Joe Brockle with a pitching wedge. That's a nice soft touch just behind the hole. Well done, Joe. Lefty Barrett Dunnigan chips his ball to eight and a half feet from the pin. Barrett Dunnigan did the hole. Oh, good try, Barrett. Well done. Michael Budson's effort looks good at just eight feet from the pin. Yeah. Michael Budson with a good setup and a nice touch. Well done, Michael. Greg Newell's ball finds its way to just four feet, eight inches. Greg Newell's got a chance. All right, Greg. <laughs> but Dan Bozen takes the round with this gem to one foot four inches. Look at this shot by Dan Bozen. Wow, came to play today, Dan. Up next is a 60 foot short pitch shot from the rough. Eric Fay leads the way. Eric Fay, everybody. Michael Budson pitches it well. And that's coming back towards the, towards the cup and that's a nice touch by Michael, well done. Joe Brockle's effort looks good at just over five feet from the pin. The line looks good. This should just be past the cup a little bit. And that's a nice soft touch by Joe Brockle. Howard Liebold's pitch ends up an inch closer. It's got to hit the hole. It's got a chance. Oh, a beautiful touch by Howard right below the cup. Well done, Howard Liebold. Joe Barnes puts the pressure on with this shot to just over four feet. This should move from left to right. Look at this touch by Joe Barnes. That is a thing of beauty. Winning golf, Joe. Bob Shermerhorn has come to play. He looks to take the round with this shot to three and a half feet. This is a soft touch and moving from left to right. This one's got a chance to get very close. Well done, Bob. But it's Dan Bozen with the hot hand as he takes his second straight round with this amazing pitch. And boy, this looks really good. Dan has come to play today, and that is winning golf by Dan Bozen. Round three tests the putting skills with this 25-footer that Eric Fay handles well. He's got the line. Will he have enough speed? All right, good try. Barrett Dunnigan rolling his ball nicely to just two feet. He's got a chance, Barrett Dunnigan. Wow, on the high side. Well done. Mike Herman shows off his putting stroke. Got a chance if it gets there. Oh, look at that stroke by Mike Herman. Dan Rosado leaves his ball just a foot away from the cup. Will it get there? That's the question. Oh my, what a great roll, Dan. Steve White's putt looks good at just seven inches. It was a beautiful stroke. Steve White's got a chance right on the doorstep. But Greg Newell wins the duel with this beauty to six inches. This one's got a chance. Greg Newell, if it gets there, oh my goodness. Now it's time to check out what's on the tee with PGA professional Doug Hendricks, brought to you by Thermal Solutions, a dynamic mechanical insulation contractor, presently celebrating 17 years of excellence. Thermal Solutions. I'm on the tee with Eric Williams, the general manager of the beautiful Hartfell National. Eric, great to see you again, and thank you so much for hosting Winning Golf again today. Thank you, Doug. It's great to have you out. Thank you so much. Well, Eric, you and I get together, it's often uh, in the golf direction, but today we have another special direction to go, and that has to do with an employee here, Chef Dan. Maybe you can fill us in a little bit on what's going on with Chef Dan. Would love to, Doug. We are so proud of our executive chef, Dan Vigliotti. Uh, recently, he was actually named top five chef in all of the invited portfolio, which is a tremendous honor for not only him, but our club. And with that uh, honor, he has won something, and it's not local. Yes, yes. <laughs> so Chef Dan is actually uh, uh, receiving an all-expense-paid all trip to the Dominican Republic at Casta Campo, where he, he's going to be able to showcase 
his culinary experience to the ent entire leadership team for invited. Well, that's awesome. And I know I've been fortunate to have some delicious meals here. I hear the chatter from the members, how happy they are. So you've also given him a new, a new title here the next next couple days, right? Yeah, so Chef Dan, he actually, uh, we're, we're promoting him to food and beverage director. He's gonna be overseeing all of the operations in the restaurant. And we're so proud of him. He's such a asset to our team. And um, we're excited to see the future here at Hartfeld. That's awesome. Well, congratulations to you, your staff, and certainly Chef Dan. I'll see you next week on the tee. The top two players in our Winning Golf Skills Challenge Survivor Round will advance to compete in a one-on-one -on -one up and in competition to determine this week's champion. Players who've won previous rounds have extra shots to try to get it closest to the cup. Our players have to master this 30-yard pitch from the rough if they want to advance. Jim Atkinson has played well all day. Don't stop yet, here it comes, here it comes. Got a little speed. That's gonna be about pin high when it's done. Jim Atkinson, everybody. Howard Liebold has a solid pitching game. A chance to be very close, right over the edge of the cup. Howard Liebold, great shot. Mike Herman's effort to just under eight feet looks promising. That should move from right to left, and that is about pin high and coming towards the cup. Well done. But Joe Shorn's pitch is just inside of that to grab the first spot in our final. And look at this touch by Joe. That is a thing of beauty. Well done, Joe. Good job. Bob Shermerhorn wants in on the final as well, and he gets it with this shot to seven feet, four inches. Bob Shermerhorn with a sandwich from 35 yards, and look at his touch. So it'll be Shermerhorn against Shorn in this week's Belfour Up and In playoff when winning golf comes right back. Well, 35 is only that. At FootJoy, we have this theory. For something to be truly innovative, to be truly groundbreaking, it has to be unexpected. Full of raw potential, not marginally better than what already exists. It has to be so impressive that no one else can compete. Yeah, we like that theory. We use it to push ourselves, to push our game, so that you can keep pushing yours. Prizes for winning golf contestants provided by Vokey SM9 Wedges. Choose closer, Vokey SM9 Wedges. And by Ahead, advanced headwear, embroidery and design, Ahead. Outerwear provided by FootJoy, FootJoy Performance Outerwear. Layer up with FootJoy. Welcome back to Winning Golf. We're all set for our Belfour Up and In Playoff. Belfour Property Restoration. Restoring more than property. We are on the 18th green at beautiful Hartfield National, and our two finalists are ready to compete for some amazing prizes, a beautiful championship trophy, and a chance to drive home with the keys to a gorgeous GMC Sierra 1500. Now, the rules for the Belfour up and in playoff are simple. Whoever gets their ball into the cup in the fewest number of strokes will be crowned our winning golf champion. Our first shot in the Belfort up and in playoff will be a 15 yard, very challenging downhill pitch shot. Bob Shermerhorn will have the honors. Bob carries a 10 handicap and plays most of his golf at Moselum Springs. Bob's got a soft touch. He's got his 56 degree favorite wedge in his hands. Let's see what happens. And he pops it up high and soft. So that should give him a very nice putt at it. A great start to our playoff here. And now it's Joe Shorn's turn to try and battle this challenge in 18th green here at beautiful Hartfeld National. Joe owns a six handicap and enjoys his golf at French Creek. Joe has chosen a 60 degree lob wedge. Same idea, bringing in a high, bringing in a soft. And here it comes. And that's a very good shot. Looks like about five feet from the cup. And we got a great party match here for the finals. Well, Bob Shermerhorn is away, so he will have the honors and putt first. Bob Shermerhorn has 12 feet down the hill. He's got a good setup and a good stroke. This one's got a chance. Bob Shermerhorn going right at it. It's got, oh, 
That is one roll from going in the cup. Bob will tap that in. There you go, and Bob is in with a three. Well, it comes down to this putt. Joe Shorn has five feet to become the winning golf champion here at Hartfield National. Let's see what happens. Set up, it's a beautiful stroke. It's in the cup. Joe Shorn is our winning golf champion here at Hartfield National. Well, Joe Shorn, congratulations on becoming the winning golf champion for the second time at the beautiful Hartfield National. And boy, Joe, your short game was on fire today. And of course, you hit the pressure shots when it counted. I hope you had a great experience with winning golf. Uh, Doug, again, uh, I, I have to thank uh, you and, uh, and McGillan Architecture. It was a great day here, a good group, and a lot of camaraderie, heckling, and great golf. And it's a great course here at Hartfield. Thank well, thank you, Joe. Now, you've got a, a pretty exciting opportunity left because in a couple of minutes, I'm going to give you the chance to putt from only 60 feet for the keys to a beautiful GMC Sierra 1500, a very special vehicle. Joe, do you have one more pressure shot in you today? I'm excited about it, Doug. Let's give it a go. Awesome. Well, the suspense is building, so whatever you do, don't leave your seat. We'll be right back with more Winning Golf. You had me at Allison 10 speed transmission. Premium features available on GMC Sierra Heavy Duty. Step up to GMC with 0% financing on Sierra Heavy Duty models. GMC, we are professional grade. You'll never experience a hotel quite like the Desmond Malvern, a double tree by Hilton. Now you can enjoy a fully renovated hotel with the same great service and staff, as well as our popular two on-site restaurants and pub. Our distinct banquet spaces can accommodate all sizes for any special occasion. The Desmond is also home to the only IACC certified conference center in the area. The Desmond Malvern, a double tree by Hilton, where you you can get your Hilton Honor points and a cookie too. It's time on Winning Golf for the Champions Putt, sponsored by your Tri-State Buick GMC dealers. Check out the new GMC Sierra 1500 at your Tri-State Buick GMC dealer. Each week our Winning Golf Champion will attempt a 60-foot putt to win a gorgeous GMC Sierra 1500. Winning Golf is very thankful to have the Tri-State Buick GMC dealer sponsoring this thrilling event. If today's Winning Golf champion Joe Shorn can dial in this 60-foot putt, Joe will win the keys and a two-year lease to his spectacular GMC Sierra 1500. Let's see what happens. The line looks good. The speed looks good. This should come back towards the hole. This one's got a chance if it gets there, and that is right on line. What an effort by our champion, Joe Shorn. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's thrilling show from the stunning Hartfeld National. I would personally like to thank General Manager Eric Williams and his staff for their warm welcome and over-the-top hospitality. Also, a very special thanks to our terrific host, Howard Liebold, and his McGillan team for providing us with another day filled with lots of high fives tons of laughs, great camaraderie, and plenty of winning golf highlights. And finally, thanks to all of you for watching Winning Golf, the show where, as you know, Everybody wins. I'll see you all next week. Everybody wins.